Hello YouTubers, this is an unboxing video of the Canon G7 Mark III camera. As I stated before, about, about three days ago, I did a, a video. I did a YouTube, I uploaded a YouTube video and I told you that I was gonna be getting a, uh, I was gonna be getting this camera for blogging purposes and I got a used one. So I got a good deal from eBay. I got a good deal and I got it for, for $534, $534 used, it's a used one. And the, uh, the eBayer, the eBayer has good feedback. It's like at a hundred percent. So I took the chance, I took the risk and I went ahead and I, and I got it. So it is not a, it is not a new camera, it's used. But again, this is what, this is what I wanted to get. And so it's the reason why I end up I ended up returning the, I returned back the uh, Panasonic Lumix ZS80. And the reason why I got this one is because based on the research I've been doing, it has a bigger sensor and it has a lot of other uh, positive things and compared to the, uh, to the other one, the Panasonic that I had got. It. And it also has a mic input, which is great. package. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the box away. And again I am so happy that I got it right in time, right before right before uh, I'm gonna go on my trip with my family and I can make good use of it. Good use of it by trying it out. It is used uh, the uh, YouTube, the eBayer's name is Red. You see, Red Tag Camera, Red Tag Camera, and uh, his, uh, you know, his feedback is like a, his eBay feedback and sales is like a hundred percent. So I took a chance, but uh, I knew I was getting it from a very, uh, you know, uh, an eBay or a seller that has a good reputation. So here's the camera. It comes with the uh, the charger, and this must be the wall charger. Well, I thought it was a wall charger, but it doesn't have that clip that opens up and connect attaches to the wall. So in fact, you have to connect that here, and then you charge the battery. So it comes with the uh, the holder, the lanyard. It also brings one battery. It brings one battery because this is based on the original packaging. And he did very good packaging. He put it in this um, bubble wrap plastic. And here's the camera itself. The screen is supposed to tilt. So it is tilting. Oh, it opens back. I was told about this mechanism that it's only been held by two screws here. And eventually it may begin to, you know, loosen. But it is fine, it is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery on. And I also got an extra battery. So I did manage to get some accessories. I, I got an extra battery and uh, I'm gonna be taking the battery with us. So, so far it looks like, it looks new. Uh, oh, memory card. My memory card, which is 64 gigabytes. It is an Extreme Pro from ScanDisk. Extreme Pro. Uh, it's probably that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys. Not for the very first time, but um, because it's a used camera. Oh my God! Just la the responsiveness. I can feel how resp how responsive this camera is in comparison to the um, to the uh, Panasonic that I had gotten. Look at this. It is also touch screen. It is touch screen. So I'm gonna be trying it out, and so it has this rubberish feeling. This rubberish feeling. These compartments here are for, uh, there's a USB-C, 
USB Type C, and if I'm not mistaken, some sort of a HDMI connector there. This is the battery compartment and memory. Over here, let me see. It has the mic input here. This is where the mic input goes. And this lever here is to bring out the flash. In which the, the Sony ZV-1, it is a, although it's a blogging camera, it doesn't have a built-in flash. And uh, it doesn't have a viewfinder either. Well, neither one of them has viewfinder because this one does not have a viewfinder either. So just look at this. The reaction time is, is great. I just love the way that it reacts. As soon as you turn it on, it's like boom. It's like instant on, instant on. I like that about this camera. So I'm gonna show you the other accessory I got. Let me go ahead and put this away. I'm gonna put the box away. I'm gonna put the box away. And I got this other accessory, which is a an extra battery. If I'm not mistaken, that's what I got, an extra battery. And there's something else I need to show you. How I plan to, how is it that I plan to to, to gear up this camera and add additional accessories. Yeah, that's what it is. I got an extra battery. The battery was a third party battery. I mean, from a third party vendor. It's not original Canon, but uh, I guess it'll do the, it'll do the trick. As long as it charges and it doesn't damage the camera, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna get the, um, this is where the extra battery comes in. So I do get an extra battery and I'm gonna be charging this, this boys for like an hour and a half to two hours because then I have to pair, either way I have to pair, I have to pair the, the battery, I have to pair the battery with the, um, with the new, uh, with my cell phone. I have to download the app and do the, the first setting because I would assume that the previous owner had it already set up with their phone. And either way, the camera must have gotten a, a hard reset. It was reset back to factory, factory, uh, you know, configuration. I'm sure of that. Before the, uh, before um, Red Tag camera uh, sold it, put it for sale. The connectors go here. Okay, so at least one of the batteries is charging. Now, this is the little box where the extra battery came in. And also, this is the uh, the uh, the lanyard holder. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you can connect this lanyard either to the left hook, little hook, or the one on, on the right, or I mean vice versa. If you look at it from this point of view, it will be on the left, right, right, left. So in my case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it. For now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it on the right, on the one on the, on this one here. I'm gonna have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, and another thing that I, another thing that I wanted to show you was the additional accessories that I plan to get for this camera. The additional accessories I plan to get, uh, it's gonna take me a, it's gonna take me a little while to, to obtain those because I am on a tight budget, and I try to do as much saving as possible when upgrading to a, to a full digital camera. Although it's a point and shoot a good one, uh, to replace my cell phone for video filming, editing, and blogging, for YouTubing and video. But I do want to show you the additional accessories that I plan to get that are compatible with this Canon G7 Mark III. And this, are, this is what I wanted to show you. Let me, uh, so I'm gonna go up and close my bracket and, by the way, I'm filming with the uh, DJI Osmo, Osmo 4. So one of the accessories that I wanna get me is this, this bracket here. That by connecting the bracket to the, to the bottom of the camera, by connecting the bracket to the bottom of the camera down here, 
I would be able to add like an external mic because it's gonna have like a cold shoe instead of a hot shoe because it, it does not come with a built-in hot shoe. This accessory is $24.90, $24.90. The other accessory that I wanted to get is a mic, an external mic when I'm outdoors and I'm doing blogging outdoor, which it has a dead cat attached, connected to the mic itself, and it connects via the, um, you know, the external, it connects via the external mic, the external microphone that the, this camera has. So the Panasonic, the here's the external mic uh, output. The Panasonic Lumix ZS80, although it was a beautiful camera, it has a, it had a great digital uh, optical zoom. It didn't have a mic output. So here, I mean, this is this camera, this Canon uh, G7 Mark III is very professional. And um, it has all this other, you know, uh, high professional, high end uh, uh, inputs. Now, the other accessory that I want to get me in the future is this grip. This grip is Bluetooth because the camera has Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth compatible. And it's like, um, I wouldn't say a gyro, but it's more like a tripod stand with a remote control the sony zv1 has a similar tripod and uh, i like the idea of being able to film and zoom in and do all these other uh, uh, functions that otherwise you would be forced to do by touching the buttons on the camera itself or the touch screen so this is easier when filming just like on my the gizmo that i'm using right now just like on this gimbal gimbal Osmo 4 gimbal and I have all these controls. I can move pan to the right, to the left. I can go up, down. I can zoom. I can uh, stop recording. I can switch, uh, swap the camera lenses uh, from the back to the front lens, etc. So uh, that is to come in the future. For now, I can just use a regular uh, uh, tripod and I have one hanging around there. So again, the camera uh, for 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 those people that are in the know, you do know that um, this camera is on the expensive uh, is on the expensive side. Just a camera alone, brand new, it might run you around seven hundred and forty nine dollars. So I got a great deal because although although it's a used camera, I got it for how how much was it that I got it? Uh, I got it for four hundred and thirty four dollars. And for the price of a brand new one at seven hundred and forty nine dollars, I can not only get I, I can not only get a camera, but I can get the additional accessories, the bracket for twenty four ninety, the uh, external mic for thirty nine dollars and ninety five cents, and the Bluetooth uh, tripod for one hundred and twenty nine dollars, and that should pretty much cover almost the same as if I would have purchased a camera alone, brand new. And I took a chance, I took a risk, and from what I see, my risk paid off because it doesn't even have a one small dent, not even a small dent, scuffle, nothing. It looks brand new, it's very responsive, and it seems to be that the previous owner took very good care of this camera. So now my next step is to play around with the settings uh download the app to my phone i cannot do it right now because i am filming from my iphone 11 at this moment but later on once i'm finished playing around with the settings uh configuring the date time uh resolution uh, that I, I i won uh, for most of my shots playing around with the aperture the um uh, the modes then i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and pair it to my phone. And once I pair it to my phone, then I'm gonna start, you know, filming, uh, playing around with it and getting used to the camera before I do my first my first video using this camera. So, oh, and the packaging it still smells good, like new. I'm sure the previous owner probably had it for just a couple of, um, probably just a, a couple of months. And my suspicion is that the reason why, why the previous owner returned this camera is because of the out of focus issue that this model had. And it's all over the internet. The out of focus, bless you. The out of focus issue that uh, the camera had is that um, uh, 
they couldn't focus. They had difficulty focusing. The focus was an issue, and uh, from, what, from what I hear, Canon released a firmware up, up, upgrade update, and that firmware update has, in fact, fixed that update has fixed the um, the update has fixed the um, the autofocus issue. So now uh, you're supposed to have the older mode and the new mode that fixes the autofocus issue. Uh, so I plan to, you know, go over all those details, and uh, I'm sure that I I made a good buy. I got a good deal, and. Um, I'm going to gear it up. I'm going to buy additional accessories for my Canon G7 Mark III, and I plan to keep it. And this is going to be like my everyday camera that from now on I'm going to be doing uh, my, um, my, I'm going to be doing uh, YouTube blogging and for any other purposes and taking pictures as well. So with family and like right now we have a trip coming up and I'm going to be using it extensively. I'm going to be using it a lot to, you know, film picture taking and eventually I want to have a good uh, a good setup so wherever I need to go um, excuse this little weasel here so wherever I, I need to go wherever wherever I need to do some sort of vlogging I would have not only the the um, the Canon G7 Mark III for that intended purposes but also I'll have my iPhone 11 with the Osmo 4 gimbal as a backup and that's what I plan to do well, thank you again, YouTubers. And, um, you know, I hope you like my video and I hope to keep you entertained, my followers, with, you know, content out there. I'm a beginner YouTuber, but um, I plan to get better. And like I told you before, I plan to get a better audience and more subscribers. And in, in that manner, I will be producing, the more I produce videos, the more uh, uh, professional I become. And it's all about, uh, you know, uh, uh, practice makes perfect, uh, perfect, practice makes perfect. And uh, as I do so, I'll be releasing better quality videos, and especially with this camera now. Thank you again, YouTubers, and have a great day.